So I'm going to create a new file. And then as long as the class is in the folder, okay, and this is in the folder where you're saving the program, it should be able to find it and use it. Okay, but if it's in a different folder, you have to specify where the where where it is. You know, we have to specify the path of where the class is and so on and so forth. But because the car class is in is in a folder, we are also going to save us the program in the same folder. And then when the program is looking for the class to use it, it can find it right there in the folder. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a class for this public class for for our program. So public class, let's say car class uh, car class. Oops, car class test. And then let's create the main method for this program. So public static void main, then string array called. Okay, we haven't gotten there yet. So string arcs. All right. All right. So now we've created a main method. We have our car class test. So now let's go ahead and create an object from the from the car class. So I'm going to try to create an object, right? I'm, I'm going to type in car, right? And then I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to give the object a name. Basically, basically it's, it's, it's like a regular variable. So let me first give it a name. I'm going to call, call it, let's say, BMW. Or um, let's say, I don't know. I don't know. Honda. Honda. Honda, right? So basically, this is just like creating a variable, like let's say, um, int number, right? This is the data type, and this is just a variable name. But you can think of this as a type, and think of it as just a variable name. But guess what? Java is going to know that this is not one of like the, one of the primitive the primitive data types, like int, um, double doubles, you know, stuff like that. It's not going to it's it's going to know that this is not one of them. So it's going to assume that this is a class. And it's going to look in the folder to find this car class and find it. And then it will be able to know that, okay, you are trying to create an object, right? So basically, this is going to be used. It hasn't been used to reference an object yet, but, but the Java is going to know that this Honda name is going to be used to reference a car object. So I'm going to now go ahead and create a new car object using the constructor to initialize the fields of this new car new this new car uh, this new car object when i finish creating this object its memory location is going to be sent to honda and honda is now going to reference that object so honda is going to act as that 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 car it's going to basically be a variable that's going to reference it's going to be a reference variable a class type variable that's going to reference that object that particular object so you can see that in the constructor, it required the year model and then the make. So I need to specify the year model of this car. Actually, the year model was an int. Int. So I'm going to specify, let's say, 2016. And we need to also specify the make, right? So I'm, um, I'm going to say um, Honda. Now I can change its name to, let's say, car one all right so so that it doesn't look like a honda right we can just say honda or we can just say car one just so when we say car one dot car one dot, dot, dot get make it will just say honda or something but actually yeah, let, let me go ahead and change it to car one or should i um you know what i'll change it to because if i use honda i don't want you to get confused that or maybe that's you know uh let's see um, I just say I just say car one, just car one, okay, car one. So that's that's the make, that's the year, and then this constructor is going to set the speed of the car to zero initially. So now we've created a car object here, All right? We've created a car object that is I don't like spacing these, but it's fine. We've created a car object that has been initialized with this. Um, year and then this um, make right let's see yeah the year and then the make okay so now what did the program say let me go ahead and copy the question on the program too so we know we can refer to it oops okay all right so 
we have the car class we uh, we've created the the car object it says demonstrate the car in a program that creates a car object which we've done and then calls the accelerate method five times okay five times <coughs> each time what is it? it yeah after each call to the accelerate method gets the current speed of the car and display it all right so let's do that it wants us to call the accelerate ac accelerate method five times so we can use a loop to do that instead of just calling it five times ourselves we can go ahead and create a loop to do that to call the accelerate me method each time so I'm going to go ahead and use a loop yeah I'm sorry um, someone was um, someone was, was trying to give me a, yeah, give me a signal all right so I'm sorry about that all right so yeah so we can go ahead and create a loop since um, we, we don't want to go ahead and create the methods ourselves we can go ahead and create a loop to call it five call accelerate method five times right so let's go ahead and do that so I'm going to since we're going to create a loop um, five times I'm going to basically create the for structure the for loop structure and I'm going to let's assume okay the number of times which is five times let's assume that each time is, is one second so let's go ahead and initial, an initialize a variable called seconds and then and then so basically each iteration is going to you know it's going to um, look like a second right so let's let's do that right. so it's still going to be five times but let's just say each second right so let's go ahead and, and in initialize an int variable called second for int seconds actually seconds is equal to one let's initialize it to one as long as seconds is less than or equal to five okay do what's in the loop and before you come back up and check to see if seconds is less than or equal to five add one to seconds okay so what 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 basically this loop is going to do is it's going to I, um, I'm, uh, it's going to iterate five times it's going to start from one check to make sure that one is less than or equal to five do what's in the loop come back and uh, do what's in the loop Add one to seconds and come back and check to see if the seconds is still less than or, or less than or equal to five. So, ba so basically, starting from one, it's going to check to see if one is less than five. Do what's in the loop. Add one to to seconds. Come back and check again. Seconds becomes two. Um, so it's it's going to check to see if two is less than or equal to five. It's going to say yes. It's going to do what's in the loop. Add one to seconds. And then it's going to come back and check. Okay, now it's now it's checking uh, to see if three is less than or equal to five. It's going to do what's in the loop one, before it comes back up and check to see if seconds is less than or equal to five. Add one to second. Seconds is now four. It's going to check to see if four is le less than or equal to five. And then so basically this loop is iterating five times. It's, it's doing this as long as the seconds is less than or equal to five. In each iteration, it's adding one to seconds. So we know this loop is iterating five times. All right. So each time, what we want to do is we want to call the accelerate method of that particular object, right? So we're going to say each time we're going to call the accelerate method and say car one dot accelerate. Car one dot accelerate. So now we know that you know the speed of the car has increased. Okay, by five. It said that after each call to the accelerate method, gets the current speed of the car and display it. All right, so let's go ahead and get the current speed. We know that, well, first of all, we, the class is here. This is the accelerate method. This is the accessor that gets the speed of the car. So we can use it, okay? And it's a public method, so the co code outside this class, this code that is outside of this class can access the, because it's public, they can access it, they can see it. But then they can't directly access, uh, change these private fields because they're private. This is public, so we can go ahead and use it to get the value of speed. Because once this public method is called, it's going to basically return the speed. But it cannot directly just say, hey, show me the speed, because they are private. <coughs> and we can test that to see. We can test that to see. We can say car one dot speed. We basically, we can say system that out of print, right? So system. Dot out dot print ln print out 
car1.speed and it's going to complain and say that well first of all we have to save this so let's save this let's save this as car class test java in the same folder and then now it's going to come back and say speed has private access in car and that's true speed has a private access in car so you cannot change it directly like this um yeah you can you cannot change it directly like this you can't you can also see you can't also set it directly and say let me just go ahead and delete this you can't also set it directly and say car one dot speed is equal to two you can't because if you run it again it's going to tell you i just compiled it it's going to tell you speed has private access in car you can't do that directly the only way you can you can get the value or see the value or change it is to using is to use the methods in the class the public methods in the class because those fields are private and you can't do it directly so in order to accelerate to change the value of the speed field, we have to use the accelerate method in the class now once we accelerate remember we have to get the speed right using the get speed accessor so what we're going to do is let's go ahead and system dot out dot print i think the error is still showing let me just go ahead and do this system dot out okay you know let me just go ahead and come i don't i don't like this to see the yellow all right that's fine all right so system dot out dot print ln let's print out car one dot get speed so that's going to be able to now show us the speed of car one after we've accelerated one time so anytime you accelerate show us the speed accelerate show us the speed so we can see exactly what's happening now let's add a nice message and say well first of all let's add a nice message and say um let's say accelerating accelerating mm, let's see Um, yeah, we can see we can just keep on saying accelerating or we can or we can say the car has accelerated You can just say that but I I'm just going to say accelerating because it's still accelerating accelerating since it's a loop or we can just do It will make it will make sense to have this Message on top here Okay, so that when so that we will just display this message once and And say accelerating. I don't know yeah, it makes sense that way. And say accelerating dot dot dot. And then just just basically display the current speed. We're going to say current speed. We can even get the make and model and, and use this in a nice way and say current speed of the this we're going to go ahead and concatenate it with kawan dot get gear model, right? So I want to say current speed of the 2016 Honda, right? So let's see, let's see, current speed of the car one dot get year model, and then so that's going to be the year model concatenated with a space, concatenated with car one dot get make. So current speed of the model make. Concatenated with the with the s with the with the word s. Now we, let's go ahead and get car one's speed. Right. So this is the message that's going to display. Right. So we are using the accesses to get the va the uh, values of the fields of this particular object. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and compile this just to see how it's going to run. We have a couple of errors, so let's see. Cannot find symbol method get year get year mode. All right, so it's supposed to get year model instead of get get year mode. All right, so I'm going to change the L here. Compile this and it runs. Let's see. I mean, it works. Let's see how it runs. All right, so we can see that it's accelerating. Current speed of the 2016 Honda is five. I'm supposed to put a space here. Uh, all right, accelerating current speed of the 2016 Honda is 5, 10. We can add, um, let's break it somewhere here and add a kilometers per hour here to it as a string. So 
kilometers per hour, something like that. So accelerating current speed of 2600 five kilometers per hour. You can see it accelerating five times. So it's working. Now let's go ahead and create the same thing for the brake because over here the question said once you're done calling the accelerate method and getting the speed of it. All right. So let's see. Over here it says you then call the brake method five times. After each call to the brake method, get the current speed of the car and, and display it. It's basically the same as this, but this time we are calling the brake method. So over here we'll say decelerating, I guess, or braking, since that's the name of the method. So braking, we are going to say the loop is going to iterate five times, and the car is going to brake instead of accelerate each time. And current speed of the so basically this is just going to get the information of the that car for us. So when I compile this, or well before I'm done with this, let's go ahead and create. Um, let's see. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, this should be fine. Let's go ahead and create. A new line before that let's first print it out all right so we can see it's working accelerating break now i just want to go ahead and create a new line before the breaking you can do that with a new line character backslash n when you type in the backslash n it's going to move the position from where it's at right now it's going to be here when once this statement is printed the position is going to be here when you when it sees the backslash n together that backslash n together is the new line character both of them together is the new line character when it sees that backslash n, it's going to go ahead and create a line break, meaning it's going to take the position from where it's at at the moment to the next line. So anything that comes after that new line character is, is displayed on that next line. So breaking will, will be shifted down because there was a new line, new line character before that. So when I compile this and I run this, now we can see there's a, there's a line break. And we can see that as we were de decelerating and, and getting the speed, we can see it's, it's decelerating using a loop. Well, it first was accelerating and it was just uh, breaking. Okay, so we can see it's working. Now let's see if it wants us to do anything else. Let's see. No, we're done. We're done. We can see it's working. It's, it was it's accelerating and breaking. So this is how you you get it. You know, we we use accesses and then the mutators to change the values of the fields, and that's how we get it. Okay. So let me finish end here. I think basically end here. All right, so we're done. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time with the next program. All right, bye-bye.